Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking program. Today we're not cooking, we're gonna make a nice, lovely, lovely sauce for your jerk chicken. So I wanna basically wanna say it to you, say if you're at home or you're making some jerk chicken in the back garden or on a function, this is one of the best ways you can ever make a sauce for your jerk chicken. It's basically take off a piece of the jerk chicken off the grill, put it in, the, in some water and cook it down. But I'm gonna show you the recipe guys, and I know you're gonna love it. So guys, hopefully you like the recipe and please leave your comments and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, get a copy of the cooking book, it's on Amazon. And then your price is your price, and please leave your comment. Thank you so much for watching the cooking program. We've got a lot more recipe for you. And trust me, you're gonna love this sauce for your jerk chicken. Enjoy the recipe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So guys, right here to make the sauce, to be honest with you, I'm going to make that lovely sauce for your jerk chicken today. Basically, I have just a pinch of jerk sauce. Right here, I have a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and a teaspoon of chicken seasoning. Piece of a thyme, one pepper, one white onion, one spring onion, one carrot, two cloves of garlic, browning, ketchup, honey, and also, this is the chicken, which we just finished off off of the barbecue just now. So basically what I'm saying, if you do yourself some barbecue chicken on the outside, this is one of the best way you can make a sauce, is basically take up a piece of a leg piece just like this, and I'm gonna give you the full idea. So guys, look what we're gonna do now, and I'm gonna show you how to make this lovely sauce for your jerk chicken, especially if you're doing it for a function or at home. I'm at home at the moment and this is how I'm gonna do it. Enjoy the recipe. First thing, pop a teaspoon of vegetable oil inside of the front pan. Make sure inside of the pot, make sure you have a little medium sized pot and preheat the pot for about three to four minutes. Then basically break up the thyme and put it straight inside of it just to get the flavor. Crush, it. Crush your garlic and put it straight inside of it just like that. The next thing we're gonna put in carrot, cut up the carrot a little bit small. I will use using just a very small carrot or a medium one, whatever you wanna call it. Straight inside of it, put it fire on a medium size heat. And then get your white onion and basically simply just cut it into four. Cut up your spring onion and add it to just like this. Give it a nice little stir. And get a piece of a chicken and put it straight inside of it like this. You can cut it up small if you want, but remember, this is a quarter of a chicken we're using to make the sauce. Nice and lovely. Then what we're gonna do now we're gonna add some water to it. Roughly three cups of water. Nice one. Then add a little bit of jerk seasoning. Teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Let's put everything inside of it. And chicken season in the water. Nice one. So what you want to do now, you want to cook out the chicken straight inside of this water so you're making a nice, lovely stock. After you do that, next thing, put some honey inside of the water. The next thing, ketchup. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add a pinch.
pinch of browning. Nice one. This one you can, f if you're gonna make a lot, fill the pot with water and put our next two more pieces of a chicken inside of it and make it boil out inside of the water and then you will get a lot a nice lovely flavor from it so basically what we're gonna do i'm just gonna add a little bit more ketchup the next thing cover your pot and leave it for roughly to about 20 minutes okay so what we're gonna do now roughly 10 minutes now since it's been boiling up let's see what's going on exactly what you're looking for this is what you're looking for but the only problem i would say with the sauce at the moment guess i would add a just a pinch more browning just a little pinch to change the color a little bit more so as you can see, you're making a stock. That's one of the main thing. Chicken being cooking out of it. And the beauty what you can do with this one, you can cook the chicken from early in the morning and then boil, take up a piece off of it and boil it for roughly about two hours into some water until it goes straight down to gravy. So I'm gonna give this another 20 more minutes and then we're gonna strain it off and make a nice, lovely jerk chicken sauce. And smell the scent of it really now we're gonna let's see wow look at that guys that is beautiful so now as you can see it boil gonna give it another 15 minutes a while ago now you see how far it boil go all the way down and the reason why i did it this kind of way because the scent of the barbecue is gonna be in the sauce of the water so especially if you get a nice piece where i almost like it burn it's really good so as you can see now what we're gonna do we're gonna strain out this and we're gonna give it a little bit of body with some corn flour so guys enjoy the recipe subscribe to the youtube channel thank you so much for watching chef for color cooking program we've got a lot more recipe just like this coming out so basically guys as you can see i pour it out into a bigger container as you can see exactly what i'm talking about and look at the color of it but if you don't want that color what you can simply basically do you can give it a nice little bit more not too brown but a little bit more pinch of browning because you don't want to get it too dark all right so i put a little pinch more browning inside of it the taste of it is very fine really really good and basically right now what we're gonna do I just mix up a little bit of corn flour. Corn flour, you can go to any local shop and get it. Just to thicken it. So basically, if I just add a little bit of corn flour to it like this, you will see it start to get really thick. So this is exactly what I'm talking about when you want to make yourself a nice, lovely jerk sauce at home, guys. Um, some people did ask me about this recipe before but sure I know it was coming up to the barbecue time I know I said to myself I want to make it outside on the barbecue grill and then I take a piece of the chicken and make the sauce from it so let's give it a taste that's perfect and the beauty you can taste this, the, 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 the jerk of the, bar, the, the, the chicken of the barbecue inside of it. A little bit spicy, but that's fine. As you can see, looking so lovely and nice. And the thickness of it, really perfect, guys. Then the beauty, what you can do with this now, and I'm going to show you what you can do with this now. It's simple you chop up a piece of jerk chicken and the simple pour it on top of it guys you get a nice lovely flavor from it 
Um, basically, I'm going to serve it up and make you guys see exactly what I'm talking about. Enjoy the recipe. Let me see, I just chopped up some of my first jerk chicken where I made earlier. And then I'll show you guys how to make the sauce. It's just beautiful and nice. So basically, what you can simply do when you make such a nice, lovely sauce for your jerk chicken is just basically pour it on top of it like this, guys. And I know you guys will love it. And the sauce is very easy and simple to make. As you can see, I pour it at the side and make it the simple rundown. But that's all we talk in about. This right over here is just a cup of plain rice, which I did earlier. And as you can see, serve with some coleslaw, jerk chicken, and I make the sauce. Serve with plain rice. It's just beautiful and nice. A little bit of coleslaw at the side, and right here is the lovely jerk chicken so guys enjoy the recipe subscribe to the youtube channel thank you so much for watching chef ricardo cooking program we have a lot more recipe like this coming up for you bye bye um, all i want to simply say to you the sauce after you put in the corn flour just let it cook for another five minutes and it's good to go enjoy it bye bye